Well, we're here today to install the Wedget Twist Tight Adjustable Sliding Window and Door Lock. Before we do, I'd like to describe some of its features. It comes pre-assembled in two sizes, a mini with a range of 17 to 25 inches, ideally suited for sliding glass patio doors with pet door installations, or smaller sliding single and some double hung windows. The Maxi has a range of 25 to 42 inches is ideally suited for sliding glass patio doors and larger sliding windows as a security bar. The lock is installed using pressure sensitive velcro strips on the mounting bracket and the catch cup. No need for drilling or screwing into your door frames or window frames. The mounting bracket is designed to allow the lock to swing down and hang along the door frame when not in use or to rest on top of the window when not in use. The catch cup is designed to cradle and hold the end of the lock in place until you tighten it up where then it slides in under this small ridge on the very top portion of the catch cup. It keeps it from being lifted when it's in the locked position. The, both locks use two methods of adjustment. The primary method is this telescoping inner tube that slides out and is adjustable in one inch increments and can always be adjusted to within one inch of your desired length. To adjust the lock inside of that one inch, you use the twist tight feature, which allows the lock to more or less unscrew and tighten up against the door or window. The Maxi has one other method of adjustment. As it's received, it has a range of 25 to 33 inches. To get to out beyond 33 inches up to its maximum range of 42 inches, Slide out the telescoping inner barrel, turn it around, and reinsert it. This will allow you to get the lock out to its maximum length of 42 inches. Today's installation is over 33 inches, so we'll leave the, the tube installed this way. Well, that's pretty much the lock. Now we're going to install it. And we say that this lock can be installed in under a minute. It may take me a little longer because I'm going to do some talking while we do it. So let's give it a shot. The first thing we're going to do is dry fit the lock to get the approximate length we need. What we do is with the liner still on the adhesive on the Velcro, we put, place it against the frame, we remove the locking pin, slide out the telescoping inner tube to the approximate length we need. That should do it. Reinsert the locking pin. Now what we'll do is we'll remove the adhesive liner on the Velcro, on the mounting bracket and the catch cup. And what we're going to do now is we're going to press this in place at a height appropriate enough to allow it to clear the floor when it's in the resting position. And all we do is press the adhesive on the back of the Velcro in place against the frame and then move the lock in behind the door where we want to install it. Try and keep the lock about as level as you can. Then all you do is pull the door in against the catch cup. It attaches to the adhesive on the Velcro. It's installed. All you need now do is adjust it. You do that by using the twist type feature. A few turns, but there it is. It's locked in place. Can't be moved. When you want to unlock the door, rotate the lock a couple of times, lift it out of the catch cup, and let it rest against the door frame out of the way. When you want to lock the door, just lift up the lock, drop it back into the catch cup, give it a couple of twists, it's locked in place. Can't be lifted out. It's just that simple. In this case, the door has a recess in the back and won't work right without using a shim. The door lock comes with a shim that you apply to the pressure sensitive velcro on the catch cup. This extends the catch cup far enough into the recess on the back of the door so that when you peel away the sensitive pressure sensitive liner on the shim it fits nicely inside the 
recess. Uh, this is the wedget. We're going to install it now in a narrow channel sliding glass patio door. The narrow channel requires the shim kit that's included with the kit, with the unit, and it goes on like this. Peel off the pressure sensitive liner, slide it into the channel where you want the mounting bracket of the wedge tip to be located, press it into place, and then you install the lock as you would on any other door. And that's accomplished by removing the pressure sensitive liner from the Velcro and applying that to the shim you just installed 